Mr. Hammer. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Hey, Mr. Logan. Hi. Hi, yes. No. Hi, girls. I have no head. I am the headless instructor. <laughs> Are you again? Really? Lesson one. Again? Yeah. Aren't you tired, Miss Virginia? No. I need to work out harder. I need to work out harder now than the last one. Okay. Just watch this. Look at this guy. Oh, Virginia! Mr. Nunez. Long time no see, oh, sir. Yeah. Hi, Katie Abernathy. Shouldn't be up. Where's Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Why weren't you taking my cat? There you are. Yay! My cat. Oh, you kitten! Yes, it's mine. So, Logan, who's that with you? What? Who's that with you? That's that's my cat Tinsley, one of my cats. Me? Are you asking me? Is Tinsley gonna do Taekwondo today with us? My Mrs. Nunes. <laughs> Where's Michael? Mr. Nunez, where's Michael at? He'd he rather out. take a walk on the treadmill. No, oh, I got it. <laughs> I got it too. You got the dog to take it? <laughs> <laughs> right. I want you to focus. we got a few minutes. Uh, Are we on mute? To the screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you stay down. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm. Okay. This makes us feel good. Can everyone see me? It's wrecked. It's wrecked. No, no, no. Uh, you're pushing me. Just see over there. Yeah, leave it sideways, though. can do is you can either join in or you can just keep working on the form, on your form so either way works all right yes sir yes, all right miss josie miss cora is mom and dad taking class too or are they being are they be slacking off well mom's slacking off while on dash you're watching us got it i know it's just pe for me because i'm on school on my computer so uh, this is considered one of her PE credits, so I had to film her for a little bit. Yeah. I will need um, a. Oh, well, I'm going to put it okay? Oh, 
guys unmute for just a little bit. And we'll get Sorry about that. All right. Okay, face me, each head up and come down. All right, let's warm it up a little bit. Hands in the hips. Turn and hold your neck to the left. Ha! Good. Hit. Hit. Set. Set. Your bump. Your day. A hook. Good. Other side. Ha! Good. Hit. Hit. Set. Set. Your bump. Your day. A hook. Good. This time, chin down into the chest. And uh, beside, interlock your hands together out in front of you. Waist rotation. We're going to go two counts to the left and then two counts to the right. Ready? to the left side this time. And uh, all right, bring those feet together now. From here, you're going to bring your left leg up behind you. With your right hand, you're going to grab your left foot. Kind of balance yourself. All right. And then if you can, try to lean forward and lift your left knee up as you do it without falling down. Hana! All right, let's switch feet. So, right leg up, left hand, grab that foot. Again, get your balance, slowly lean forward, lift that right knee. Hana! Shake out those legs a little bit. All right, 
Mike Show. All right, so let's take a minute to kind of review stances real quick, all right? Because the stances are the main foundation for our, our puntes, all right? So let's start off with um, a tension stance or your close stance. So chitty up. Make sure when you're in your chitty up position, feet are together, toes are together, heels are touching together, knees are together, right? And you're basically the feet are straight. Okay, so there's no there's no space in between the feet. You know, make sure that like one toe is not in front of the other one. Everything should be straight. Okay, that's your attention position. This is also for the same thing for like red belts and up. When we go into your A stance, okay, the same thing. All right. Okay, so the next one is chumbi. You're not on All right. So when you go into chumbi. You're going to bring the feet apart about one foot length in between the left and the right foot. Okay. Which comes out to basically shoulder width or just inside of your shoulders. Okay. So we don't want the feet to be wider than our shoulders. We want them to be at least shoulder width, maybe just inside, right? The smaller you are, obviously, the shorter the stance is going to be. So you want to make sure that your feet are on two separate railroad tracks. You want to make sure that the feet are straight, okay? Two parallel lines. A lot of times what happens is that people like to turn their feet out, okay? So you can kind of see my feet kind of ducking out. That's incorrect, right? We don't want one foot in front of the other. We don't want one foot turned, you know, kind of this, you know, the sassy, I'm, I'm ready to do pumse, uh, jumi position. We want to make sure that our weight is balanced in between the feet, okay? Now from here, your horse riding stance, right? So when you go into your horse riding stance, right, it's two, two, two of your jumbies, right? So about, about two to two and a half of your foot length. So now you're just wider than your shoulders, okay? So this one's the wide one. Same thing though, foot position wise, we want to make sure that the feet are pointed straight ahead, okay? Don't let the feet flare out. Don't let your knees buckle in. Okay, kind of push the knees out like you're sitting on the back of a horse. The weight is balanced in between, okay? All right, if you have a large dog, you can practice by sitting on the back of your large dog, right? And don't let, don't try to jab your knees in. If you have a little dog, good luck, all right? Good luck with that. All right, so now, the next stance that we have, which we have the majority of our walking stances. Okay, so this is what I want you to do real quick is go back to your junior position. Okay, so now extend those lines out straight out in front of you. Okay, just imaginary lines straight out in front of you. So what you're going to do is when you go into a walking stance, you're going to keep your right foot on that right line. So you're not going to move it to the left line. You're not going to shrink it up. You're just going to keep it exactly where it's at. So from that jumpy width, you're gonna step forward one, two foot lengths, okay? So that the, the length total is three foot lengths. You have front foot, you have back foot, so I'm gonna show it from, from a side view, okay? So you've got the front foot, you've got the back foot, and then you got a foot length in between the front and the back. You're on those two separate lines, okay? And you're gonna pivot that back foot, your left foot just a little bit. Okay, so I, from here, I'm turning it about 30 degrees. Okay, and what that does is now my hips, if you notice, my hips are a little bit different. They're not on the same line. They're actually, my right hip is in front of my left hip. Okay, so we want that same thing with the shoulders. We want our shoulders to be the same thing. We don't want our shoulders to be straight side to side. We want them naturally angled. Okay. All right, so you want to make sure that whatever you do, right, if we do that left one, same thing, that left foot will move straight forward, right, about three foot lengths, right? So it's one is the one that you're standing on, two, three, all right? And then once again, my right foot's going to turn a little bit, my heel's going to turn a little bit, 
so that it's it's open just a little bit instead of straight it's open okay here and then my shoulders and my hips are going to turn so a lot of times we punch or we block from here all right so you're going to notice it's not my shoulders should never be sideways like this it should one shoulder should be always closer to the screen than the other okay all right so that's walking stance front stance now is the same thing as your walking stance just an additional foot length to a foot and a half length forward so we're at the walking stance so let's say let's do the right foot forward okay so you have the right foot toward the screen right in the walking stance position both knees are straight when you go into the front stance since you're going forward one additional stance your front knee should want to bend now okay a little bit so there should be a little flex in that front knee if you can see here, I'm going to try to get centered on my camera. So what you're going to notice is that my knee, my front knee, is going to go straight up and down with my heel. Okay? I don't want this to be my front stance here. So if you notice here, my knee is above or over my, my heel, like over my toes, kind of. Okay? All right? Youngsters, you can do this for a while. Right, but when you get old, like uh, like Mrs. Nunes, I'm kidding. Right? If you get old like me, right, you have to. You're gonna feel this in your knee. It's gonna hurt a lot. So you want to make sure that your knee is straight up and down with that heel. Okay. We don't want it back like this either. We don't want it like this. Okay. The other thing about front stance is that you want to make sure your back leg is straight. If you notice my back leg is straight, okay? Here you can tell it's bent. And the reason why you can tell it's bent is because my heel comes up a little bit. Sometimes when you do your front stance, your heel likes to come up or not completely touch the ground. And so your front stance looks like this, right? which is incorrect. If I push my heel down, did you see how my back knee went straight? All right? That's what you want. You want to feel that pressure on the back heel as well as your front knee this way kind of opposing forces that's what gives you your base okay in that front stance all right so when you're moving into it as i'm moving forward into my front stance i just move it forward this way right straight straight down that line straight down and then i just do a little pivot once again the pivot's the same it's about a 30 degree pivot that back heel and I push that heel to the ground I push that heel down so I can do that right okay so that's that front stance all right try that left leg forward now and do that front stance again with the right leg in the back once again try to get that right knee straight push that heel down into the ground keep that front knee bent okay once again shoulder and hip position it's going to be turned a little bit not straight turned a little bit. So from a side view, you can see both my right shoulder and my left shoulder here. Okay, not this, not only my left shoulder. You want to be able to see both. Okay. All right. Okay, then we have back stands. All right, we have back stands. So back stance is like walking stance. All right. So from your chumbi position, Right, walk it forward, walk that right foot forward, three steps. So you have one step right now where you're standing, two, three, okay? Now from here, all you're going to do now is pivot your left foot so that's turned 90 degrees, okay? All right? So now from here, your feet should look like the letter L, or, or backwards L, I should say, right? The other thing you want to make sure from here, Okay, so you, you see my length, one, two, three, okay? So I'm here, I'm gonna bend both knees, okay? So my back knee bends to the side, okay? Bends outward, right? My front knee bends straight down like this, okay? So here, right now, my weight is, my weight is in between my feet, 50, 50, 50% 50 of my, it's like a horse riding stance, okay? But with a back stance, the majority of our weight is on our back leg. So we have to shift back. So you have to push your hip towards your back leg. So your back leg is going to bend a little bit more. 
And if you notice here, okay, I'm gonna get in front of the camera. If you notice my left shoulder goes straight down, there's a straight line from my shoulder all the way down to my toes. Yeah, you notice my knee here, my left knee is bent this way. It's not bent inward or outward. It's actually just bent straight to the side, okay? So from a front view, it should look like this. And if you notice, I, let me try to get, let me get closer. All right, so if you notice, my heels here, if I bring this foot up, they're not on the same line, okay? They're not on the same line. They're actually next to each other. The heels are on a different, okay? So a lot of times people think, oh yeah, I'm gonna just put my heel on the same line as my, my right foot, and that's wrong, okay? It should be out a little bit out to the side of it, okay? All right, now I hope you guys remember this because there's gonna be a pop quiz at the end of the class. All right, and if you forget all of this, then you have to start back over at White Belt, all right? Just so you guys know, I'm just warning you now. All right. Oh, she's being the left. I guess she didn't want to take the test. Oh, no, she didn't. All right. Okay. All right. So, right? So step back with that right leg. Try that left leg forward now, right? See, the thing is, you want to make sure that you keep that weight over that right leg, right? So there's a straight line here for that back stance. So now blue belts and up, right? Blue belts and up. We have something called a left and right stance. Okay, so your left and right stance and take of Ojang, right? Incorporates the walking stance and the back stance. Okay, so your left stance, meaning the left leg is in front. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your feet in the, in basically, you're gonna make it look like a back stance, okay? But instead of three foot lengths deep, it's only gonna be two. So you have one, two, okay? So two foot lengths, right? And you're standing upright. So you're, you're, not, you're not bending your knees or anything. So like a walking stance, knees are straight, okay? But once again, the heels are not on the same line. They're adjacent to one another. And the, the, the depth of that stance is only two foot lengths. Okay, this is where we do that downward hammer fist movement for blue belts, right? In Tegu Ojang. Okay? All right, so it's a short stance, but the knees are straight. They're not bent. It's not here where you're bending and you're trying to do a back stance. Okay? So you're, this is uh, this left stance, right? And this is the right stance, right? The only difference here is, right? Basically, I, I want to be balanced in between my feet. I don't want to be leaning to the back too much. I want to be balanced. So I'm going to come down one, right? One, one, this way, okay? So that's two foot lengths deep. Okay? Good. All right, blue belts as well. We do have something called an X dance or back cross dance, okay? So when we do the back cross dance, remember, that's at the very end of the punte where we do the stomp and back fist. One, two, right, where you cross your feet. So what happens is that right foot, right? So I'm, I'm going to do it as a mirror. So when you guys are doing that back fist toward me, your right foot goes down at about a 45-degree angle for the stomp, right? We stomp down, and then our left foot comes behind it, right? And you notice my left heel, my left heel's up off the ground, okay? Here. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm bending both knees, I'm kind of sitting down, okay? So if you notice my legs from a side view, right, my calves are actually touching here, right? So I'm doing my back fist this way. So this is the way it looks from a side view, okay? This is the way it would be, right, if you're doing it facing the screen, okay? So your right leg is in front, yep, there you go. We're a mirror here, okay? Right, and then basically what happens from here is if your foot position's right, okay, we're gonna be ballerinas for a moment, right? We're gonna go up onto our toes of the ballerina, we're gonna pivot, and then we're gonna come down. And if you come straight down, you should be back to your jumpy position. All right, so there's your ballet lesson, right? So no more dancing now, right? We're done dancing. 
All right. So once you stomp and do this, one, two, right? Pivot up. So kind of pirouette up, right? Pivot and then drop down. Then you should be back to a jumping position without having to move your feet. Okay. All right. So that's your back cross dance, right? Now, black belts in cordial, you have front cross dance, which is the exact same thing, just coming in front, remember? And the front leg, right, the leg that's crossing in front goes flat. And then the other leg just comes up in a tippy toe position. Okay? All right. So we have uh, one more that we want to kind of go through, which is the tiger stance. Boom sogi, tiger stance. Right, so tiger stance. Tiger stance is two foot length steep. So you have back foot and front foot. Okay, so for our purposes, go ahead and put your right foot just in front of your left foot. Not on the same line, but just side by side. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to bend both knees. Okay, so you're going to bend both knees, kind of sit down. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your front heel just a little bit. Okay, I know it's kind of hard because I'm standing right over my light, but okay. So if you notice my front foot here at the bottom of the screen here, I just bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm not trying to act like I'm wearing like really high stiletto heels or anything like that. Right, I just want something just a little bit of a lift. That's it. Okay, and you notice my back knee also bends, it kind of sits down. Okay. Now, the, the other thing that you have to do with tiger stance, so for red belts and up, right, we have lots of tiger stances in our food thing, all right? You also have to push your hips back, all right? Like your, your butt has to stick out, okay? Those of you who know Michael Jackson, right, the king of pop, right? He has this move where he comes up and he comes down, all right? That's the exact same thing. We're pushing the hip down, all right? Okay? So you're trying to push the hip back, right? So yeah, in essence, like if, if Isaiah's like right behind me, I'm trying to kind of booty bump him, right? I'm trying to booty bump him as I do this, right? So when I go into my tiger stance, here, here, I sit, okay? So it's a kind of a crouch, right? And the feet are two foot lengths deep, okay? All right, so that's the foundation that we're working off of. Okay, all those stances there. All right, no pressure. Once again, there'll be a test at the end. So, just so you guys know. All right, so now let's move on. So let's, let's start with keep on your tongue real quick, right? Remember, everything is walking stance here. All right, so I'll make it easy. I'm going to have Isaiah facing like you guys do. All right, so you guys will be turning in the exact same direction that he is. All right, okay, so now you remember any time that we make a turn, you always want to make sure that you get to that chumi stance facing to whichever direction you're going. Okay? That's going to be the width of your feet, always. Okay? And the width is always based off of the ball of your foot. Okay? So where your toes are, that's going to be the lines. Right? So from here, right, if I'm pivoting here for your, my walking stance, right, the, the, the width is always based off of the ball of my foot. Okay, over here in this portion here, not my heel. Okay, all right, so when I turn, get your walking stance and then down block. And then step forward and punch. Good. Make sure you move that foot straight ahead. Don't move that right foot onto the left line. They should be on two separate lines. Okay, ready, set, pivot all the way around. Okay. So now look down at your feet real quick. Make sure that the right foot is not on the left foot line. It should be, right? It should be away from the screen, a little bit further back. Okay? Ready? Let's up. Good. So forward punch, right? Now you're gonna turn towards the screen. Let's up. Walking stance down block. Once again, look down at your feet. Right? Make sure that left foot is not on the same line as that right foot. Ready? Let's up. The punch. Move straight ahead. Step punch, move straight ahead. And one more. Yeah! Right. And once again, those feet are on two separate railroad tracks as you move forward. 
Okay, make that big turn. Hana! Turn to your left. Go to the left, Mr. David Nunes. All the way around, all the way around. Toward mom. There you go. Ready, go! Step and punch. Turn to the right and do the same thing. Good. Good. Step and punch. Good. Turn to the left and down by. Up. Walking dance. The corner punch is up. Remove. Step forward and punch. And one more. Get up. Make sure your feet are on two separate lines. Okay. Boom. All right. Okay, so let's move on. Take your gear chunk now. Same thing. You start off the exact same way. Turning left, walking stance, down block. Come on. All right, step forward, walking stance, punch. Three. Make sure to look down at those feet. Make sure they're apart. Ten. About as wide as the chumpy stance. Okay. Always make sure that front foot, the foot that's furthest out from you, should always be pointed straight. Okay? What's up? Turn to the turn toward the screen. Down block punch. Front stance here. Right? So you gotta get deeper, right? Front knee bends, back leg straight. Okay, now we're gonna turn to our right. Outside in block. What's up? Shift into a walking stance here. Okay. What you're is your right leg will be in front here, your left. Leg back. There we go. Good. Ready? Set. Step and punch. Good. Now you're going to turn toward the screen and to the other side. Set. Bring that left foot around. All the way around. Outside of my. Good. Set. Step and punch. Now back to the right toward the screen. Down by punch. Set. Front stance. Good. Make sure that front knee's bent. Back leg is straight. Now we're going to turn to our left side. Okay, going this way, rising block. It's up. Walking stance. Look down to those feet. Make sure they're apart. Ready? Front kick punch. It's up. Kick punch. Make sure you land on that same line that the right foot was on when it was in the back. Turn toward the screen and to the other side. It's up. Rising block. It's up. Kick punch. Good. Okay, now turn away from the screen with that left leg. Okay, front stance down block. Oh. All right, make sure that front knee's bent, back leg is straight. Okay, it's the four punching gear. Yeah. Hi. Right. Uh, your other foot, Miss Katie. All right, oh, back to your German position. Now, if your stances are consistent, you're going to be about one step, one front stance length. Um, behind where you started, and you know, step back forward to your starting spot. Okay? All right, good. All right, let's move on. Take it Yijung now. Take it Yijung. Ready? All right. Mr. Francisco Jr., you can follow along or you can practice on your own. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah? Ready? So, hana! Turn left once again. Down block, walking stance. We haven't changed yet. Okay? Now we go into front stance punch. Good! So deep. Make sure your feet are on two separate lines. Okay? Other side. Same thing. Set. Turn to the right. Walking stance down block. Set. Step forward and punch. Front stance. Turn toward the screen. Outside in blocks. Set. Walking stance. And step forward one more time. Here we go. Outside in block. Walking stance. Now we're going to turn to our left. Walking stance down block. Set. Right leg front kick, land in a front stance, and then right hand high punch. Up. So this is the only Pumse that has a high punch. Then other side, same thing. It's up. Turn to the right. Walking stance down block. It's up. Kick, high punch, front stance. Okay, make sure that front knee's bent. Good. Now we're gonna turn towards the screen again. Turn to your left, walking stance, rising block. Oh. Step forward one more time. Walking stance, rising block. Good. Okay, now you're going to turn to your left behind you. Right hand outside in block. It's up. Good. Now you're going to turn to the right. All right? To the other side, outside in block. It's up. You have to move your feet. Okay, so that the feet are on two separate lines. Good. 
Now the left foot moves to the back, away from the screen, walking stands, down leg. It's up. And then right leg front kick, right hand punch. It's up. Walking stance. Make sure you land in a straight line. Feet are on two separate lines. All right. Make sure the feet stay on those railroad tracks. Again, it's up. Front kick punch. Walking stance. And one more time. Front kick punch and kill. Walking stance punch. All right. Now, if your stances are consistent, everything is good. Right foot is where you started. Left foot comes back to Jumi. What all? Mr. Logan, go ahead and keep practicing on those for a little bit by yourself. All right. Everyone else is time. Let's move on. Take a sung jung this time. Take a sung jung. All right. So we're going to turn left. Walking stance. Down look again. Ta -da! See those first four pumses? We do the same thing. Turn left. Walking stance. Down block. Okay. Right leg front kick. Land in front stance. Double punch. Kick. Punch, punch. Front stance. We're going to do the same thing to the right. So turn to the screen and do the other side. Set. Walking stance, down block. Net. Kick, double punch. Front stance, double punch. Left, right. Left hand, right hand. Now you're going to turn toward the screen with the left leg. All right, right hand, knife hand strike. It's up. Remember your right hand is a knife hand strike. So you're attacking the neck. It'll be your other right hand, Mrs. Nunez and Mr. David Nunez. There you go, good. Step forward, left hand, knife hand strike. It's up, walking stance. Good. Okay, now from here, you're going to transition. You're going to move your left leg to the side, to the left side, knife hand block. It's up. This is your first back stance in a pumse. Okay, so you're in a back stance, knife hand block. Now, when you transition from back stance to front stance, okay, when you transition, you move the front foot straight forward one step, and then you pivot the back foot, okay? You want to move that front foot straight ahead. Don't move it to the side at all. Move it straight ahead and pivot. Ready? Okay, now from here, keep the weight on your left leg. Okay, you're going to pivot on your left leg. You're going to move your right leg in to fix the back stance on the right side. Ready? Up. Good. And then same thing here. Right leg's going to step forward. Shift and into that punch. Up. Front stance. There you go. Good. Now your back foot, your left foot, comes forward. Right hand outside in block. Walking stance. So towards the screen, right hand outside in block. And then step forward, left hand outside in block. It's up, walking stance. All right, now you're going to make that big 270 degree turn to your back, to your left, walking stance, down block. Oh, just like we did at the beginning. All right, front kick, two punches. It's up, landing in the front stance. Same thing to the other side. Ready? It's up. Turn to the right, walking stance down block. And then front kick, two punches. Up. Left leg, left hand, right hand. Good front stance here. Now turn your left foot away from the screen to the back. Walking stance, down block punch. It's up. Yep, down block punch without moving. Good. And then you're going to step forward and we're going to do it again. Down block punch. It's up. Walking stance. All right, make sure your feet are on two separate lines. Now you're going to do left leg front kick, left hand down block, right hand punch, walking stance. It's up. Front kick, down block, punch. Good. And then right leg front kick, right hand down block, left hand punch, and kia. Ready? Kia! All right. All right, if you did this right, right foot should be where you started. Left foot pivots around behind you to do me. What else? All right, good. All right, we're moving right along. Let's move on to Taeguk Sajang now. Sajang. All right. 
Finally, we don't have to turn left and do a down block in a walking stance. Okay? So you have your back stance now, right? We just did back stance and take a jump. You're also going to do it in take a jump. So you're going to turn to your left. Back stance, you're going to do a double knife hand guarding block. Right? Your double knife hand guarding block is like your guarding block, your forearm when you go into fighting stance. It's just with knife hands. Okay? So ready. Hada! Back stance, double knife hand guarding block. Okay, you're going to step forward into a front stance. You're going to do, with your left hand, you're going to do a downward palm. And right hand is going to do a spear hand strike. Good. Okay, so when you do that spear hand, make sure that your right hand, or excuse me, your left hand is underneath the right elbow. Okay? So not under your armpit, but your elbow. And we're going to do the same thing to the right. So turn all the way around. Turn the turn toward the screen and to the other side. It's up. Back stance. Double knife hand guarding block. And then this time right hand comes down. Left hand comes forward. Spear hand. It's up. Front stance. Once again, make sure that right hand is underneath the left elbow. Now you're going to turn toward the screen. Turn toward me. You're going to do a knife hand, upper knife hand block, and knife hand strike. So it's going to look like this. Ready, set. Good. Make sure that left hand is up like a rising block, but with a knife hand. Right hand is doing a knife hand strike next level. Ms. Katie, make sure that you have your upper knife hand block. Switch your hands. Okay. Ready. And then we're going to do right, uh, right leg front kick, left hand punch. It's up. Kick punch. Land in a front stance. Okay. We haven't done any walking stances yet. So everything here has been so far back stance and front stance. Okay. Now we're going to do two side kicks. Don't kick your screen. If you're close to your screen, you might need to shuffle back a little bit. All right. So side kick. Ready. It's up. Two side kicks. Right leg. Left leg. Right leg. And then land back stance, double knife hand guarding block. Just like you did at the very beginning. Okay, bring your left leg around behind you. Back stance, forearm block. Come on. So you should be facing the left. Bring your left leg around, Mrs. Nunez. All right, you're going to turn this way. There you go. Back stance, forearm block. So the forearm block is the front part of your fighting stance, right? So fighting stance is here with two hands. This is just a single hand block. Now from here, we're going to do right leg front kick. We're going to bring it back to that back stance and right hand outside in block. Sucked. Kick and back. And now from here, when we transition to the right side, you have to pivot your left foot. Okay? Pivot your left foot and then bring your right foot in and to the back a little bit, or toward the screen a little bit, and then do your block. It's up. And then left leg front kick, bring it back. Left hand outside in block. It's up. Kick, bring it back outside in block. All right. So now you're gonna move away from your screen. So you're gonna turn to your left. Now right, you're gonna do that upper knife hand block and strike movement. It's up. Should be in a front stance here. Right? We're still deep stances here, right? And then we're going to do front kick with the right leg and then back fist strike. It's up! Front leg, front kick, oh, front kick and then back fist with the right hand. Good. All right, so now we're going to turn left. Turn to your left 90 degrees. Outside in block punch. So with the left hand, outside in block punch. Walking stance. Ready? Hana! Turn left. Outside in block punch. Left hand, right hand. Okay? This is the only walking stances. You have two of them here and into the other side. Once again, when you transition to the other side, you pivot on left foot, you move right foot in and toward the toward your screen. And then we do a right hand outside in block, left hand punch. Touch. All right, good. Now we're gonna move that left foot. Away to the back, behind, right? Away from the screen, 
You're gonna do your outside in block and then two punches. Left hand, right hand, left hand. Ready? Set. And you should be in a front stance here. Okay? And one more time. Step forward. Outside in block, double punch, front stance. All right. Thank you. Okay. Right foot's there, left foot comes back to the two minute position. Bodo. So remember, everything is deep stance, right? Except for the two walking stances on the back end where you go outside in block punch, outside in block punch. Everything else is back stance and front stance. Okay? All right, let's move on. Take a Guojang now. Blue belt to all right? Okay, so remember now we're going to turn left, front stance. Once again, down block. Hello! Okay, now make sure your feet are on two separate lines. And then from here, when you draw in for your left stance, okay, when you draw that foot in, you're going to make sure that foot moves straight back, okay? From here, just move that foot straight back. Right now, you're about four foot length, Steve. You got to bring it into about two. And then at the same time you do that, your back foot stays where it's at. It's just going to, from here, it's going to turn. Turn 90 degrees. That's it, okay? Ready, and then do your downward hammer fist with the left hand. Good. Okay, so arms should be straight, right? Coming down, right? Like you have a hammer, hammering down. Good. Now from here, you're going to pivot. Pivot on your left foot. Turn to your right. Front stance down block. Yes, now same thing. That's too wide. That's too wide. Okay, so you got to make sure. Here, strong foot's gonna move straight back, right? Two foot length, left foot is gonna turn 90 degrees and come in for your hammer fist. Together, ready, set. Good. Now, left foot comes toward the screen. Left hand outside in block, right hand outside in block. In a front stance, set. Front stance, outside in block, outside in block, good. Now from here, you're gonna do right leg front kick, right hand back fist, left hand outside in block. Landing in a front stance, okay? Ready, set, front kick. Back fist, outside in block. Okay, good. We're gonna do the exact same thing again. So left leg front kick, left hand back fist, right hand outside in block, front stance. Ready, set, kick, back fist, outside in block. Good. And then step forward this time with the right leg into front stance, back fist strike. Pivot on your right foot. Turn to your left. Back stance, knife hand block to your left. So you're going to turn away from the screen. Good. From a back stance position. Now we're going to transition. From here, step straight forward into a front stance. Turning elbow strike to the chin. Good. Right elbow. Good. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Turn to your right. Ready, set. Turn to the right. Back stance, knife hand block. Step forward with that left foot. Turn elbow strike to the chin. Yes, up. Front stance. Turn to your left. Turn, turn to the back, away from your screen. Front stance, down block, outside in block. It's up. Down block, outside in block, front stance. Good. Right leg front kick. Land in a down block with the right hand and then left hand outside in block. It's up. Front kick, down block, outside in block. Front stance position, good. Okay. So now we're gonna turn to our left, 90 degrees. Front stance. Left hand rising block. It's up. Turn to your left. Front stance, rising block. Good. Now from here, when you do your side kick, you're going to lift your knee, pull it across, side kick with the right hand. You're going to do a hammer fist to the side, and then elbow smash, landing in a front stance. It's up. Side kick and elbow smash. We're going to turn to the right and do the same thing. So bring that right foot all the way around. Just up. Front stance, rising block. Left leg, side kick, left hand, 
side hammer fist, and then right elbow strike. It's up! So side kick and elbow smash. Now we're going to turn to the back, away from the screen again. We're going to do down block, outside in block again. Front stance. It's up! Down block, outside in. Now from here, we're going to do right leg front kick. And then we're going to stomp down, right hand back fist, and landing in that back cross stance. Ready, kill! Front kick, stomp, back fist. Right. Landing in that cross stance. Good. Right. Okay, get up on your toes, pirouette out, land in the two position. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, so let's move on. We got time for probably one more, maybe? Yeah. So take a yuk chan. Take a yuk chan. All right, ready. So now, turn left again. You go to that down block again, but you're going to turn into a front stance to your left. Down block. Ready? Ta-da! Front stance, down block. And then from here, now you're going to do a front kick with the right leg. You're going to come back into a back stance. So you're going to shrink up your stance just a little bit to a back stance. All right? You're going to do an inside-out forearm block. Ready? Touch. Front kick, bring it back. Back stance, forearm. Okay, now from here, you're just going to pivot on that left foot, turn to your right, shift into a front stance to the other side, down block again. It's up! We're going to do the exact same thing. Left leg front kick, bring it back to a back stance, forearm block. It's up! Kick, bring it back, and forearm block. Good. Now from here, left foot moves toward the screen into a front stance position, right hand. It's going to come down and around in a circular motion, a circular knife hand block. Face level. Ready? Hunt. Good. You're in a front stance position. Now from here, it'll be your other hand, Mrs. Nunes. There you go. Good. We're going to do a right leg roundhouse kick. So you kick with the right leg. You're going to do your roundhouse kick towards the screen. You're going to put it down in front, and then you're going to move your left leg to the left. Into a front stance, high forearm block, and then punch. Okay, ready? It's up! Kick, round those kick, put it down, step, turn, forearm block, and then punch in the same position. Okay, now we're going to do right leg front kick, left hand punch, landing in a front stance. Up! So kick and punch. Okay, now you're going to turn toward the screen and to the other side. Ready? It's up! Same thing. High forearm block and punch in a front stance. So right hand, left hand. Left leg front kick, right hand punch, front stance. Up. All right, so now we're going to bring our left foot back. You're going to turn and face the screen back into a chubby position. You're going to cross your hands out in front, slow double down block movements. It's up. Cross and bring them out to the side. There we go. Good. Okay, now this time from here, right leg is going to step forward into a front stance. Left hand this time comes down and around. Circular knife hand block in that front stance position. Oh. Right, and once again, this is a high knife hand, right about face level. Good. Now you're going to do a left leg roundhouse kick and you're going to key up, place it down about a front stance length. Pivot on that left foot, and then you're going to do a down block with the right hand, right leg. Round those kick up, turn, and down block. Good. Now we're going to do left leg front kick, bring it back to a back stance, right forearm block. Just like we did at the beginning. Kick, bring it back forearm. And now you're going to pivot to the back. So away from your screen, turn to your left, down block. Front stance. Okay, good. Kick and punch. Front kick, bring it back. Or excuse me. Front kick, bring it back. Outside in block. Back stance. It's up. Kick, bring it back. Back stance. Outside in block. Good. All right. So now from here, what you're going to do now is you're going to bring your right foot in, and then you're going to turn toward the screen and move your right leg away from your screen into a back stance, 
Double knife hand guarding block. Ready, up. So you should be facing the screen. Yep. Back stance with the right leg back. Double knife hand guarding block. Right. You're going to step back with the left leg. Straight back. Double knife hand guarding block. Up. Good. Should be in the back stance. Good. You're going to step back with the right leg into a front stance. You're going to do a side palm block and then punch. So left hand, right hand. Ready, set. Landing in the front stance. One, two. Make sure your feet are on two separate lines here. Okay? And then you're going to step back with the left leg. We're going to do a right hand side palm block. Right hand side palm block. Left hand punch. Set. One, two. Now, one, now we're finished. So from here, if your stances are good and you're consistent, left foot should be where you started. Your back foot should be where you started. Bring the right foot back to me. Okay? All right. So I'm going to unmute you guys real quick. Does anyone have any questions? We, we got through a lot. Okay, does anyone have any questions on anything? No. No. All right. All right. So, pop quiz. All right, Virginia, how many feet uh, is a uh, left or right stance? How many feet apart? Two. All right. All right. Mr. Francisco Jr., how many feet apart is a front stance? Show me by your hand since your, your thing is muted. No, not front stance. Four. Four on the front stance. Now nah, you're back to white belt. I'm going to put you back to white belt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. Hyatt, um, how many feet apart for tiger stance? Two. All right. Ms. Sabina, how many feet apart for back stance? Back stance. Three. All right. Ms. Katie, how many feet apart for chumbi stance? For your chumbi stance, your ready stance, how many feet apart? I'm going to put you back at it. White belt, Miss Katie. All right, one foot apart. One foot apart. Mr. Jason, are you there? Yeah. All right, you're there. Okay, good. All right, how many feet apart for your, um, uh, let's see, your, your close stance? Zero. Good. All right. All right. Good job, you guys. So um, we'll try to do a, another Pumse class, with, and we'll try to get uh, some of the higher forms out of the way as well. So um, if you guys don't have any questions, all right? Great job, Mr. Nunez and Mr. Nunez. It's good to see you guys. All right. Pumse class. We'll do every day, three day, three times a day, four o'clock, five o'clock, and six o'clock. So you can join. All right. This is. Um, Josie and Mr. Hyatt and Cora's very first class, online class since we've been on COVID-19. So they've been slack slacking off. So <laughs> Prairie and Virginia and Sabina and Katie have been on class all the time. They're like too much. I see them almost every day. Every day? I'm kidding. All right, great job, you guys. All right, face me. Get up. And, and Okay, have a great evening, you guys. Um, recording of this will also be on our YouTube channel. So if you need to use it for reference, go back to it and check on it. All right? So, yes, see you guys later. Bye, uh, sir. Bye, Bye Master Hong. Bye. Bye. You, do this, you do this every day, Master Hong? I do. Monday through Friday. Friday, 5 o'clock, Poonsies? Yeah. Oh, no, we, we'll, we'll do everything. So like certain classes, like today is all just kind of specialty stuff. So at six o'clock, we're going to focus in on just the sparring stuff, like three steps mm -hmm. or excuse me, one, st three steps, one steps, takedowns, self-defense. Um, four o'clock today, we did kicking only. So we just worked on kicks. Um, but then most of the classes we do, we try to do everything. So we'll do kicking, we'll do forms, we'll do three steps, one steps and takedowns. Um, things like that so kind of like what we used to do in class and so forth it's just i know so for some people it's hard they don't have a lot of room so either you start moving furniture around get get david to move the furniture around put the couch out under the patio or something we have more room or you know go down and raid you know 
raid Lou's um, man cave down there and <laughs> you know, get rid okay. of all the miniatures and then you can, you know, you can do your own Taekwondo thing down there. So. Okay, we'll do some more with you. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, the goal here is um, even when everything kind of passes, we're going to still, my intent is to still do these online as well as, you know, while we're having the classes over at Apex. It's easy right now because like right now I've also got Facebook Live going on at the same time. So I'm using a lot of bandwidth on my, on my Wi-Fi. When I'm at Apex, I don't have, I, I'm not going to have Wi-Fi. So I'm going to be using everything off of my cell phone. And hopefully, like I said, um, we'll still at least be able to do like a live Zoom class during that time. And then I'll just upload those classes regularly on, on the YouTube, on our YouTube channel so that people can reference those at any okay. point. Okay. All right. Okay, sir. All right. Well, you guys have a good one. We'll see you guys later. I got to get ready for the next class. Bye. Okay, bye, sir. Bye. 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 Hair's looking a little long. Yeah, I know, I right? Know. Tell me about it. I know. I want, like, I want to be like Chance Jerkowitz. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.